the slavery and trafficking prevention order and the slavery and trafficking risk order are two tools in the armory of modern slavery investigators. Now, the prevention order is applied for normally after a conviction, whereas the risk order is normally applied for during an investigation. And the risk order may be accompanied by an application for an interim order. Now, the significant feature of these orders is that the civil uh, rules of evidence apply and hearsay evidence can be admitted. So, um, a statement from a complainant or a witness who may have left the jurisdiction can still be allowed as part of one of these applications. Now, that, that may seem harsh, but the flip side of it is that during the course of the application, the prosecution must show in its entirety the evidence that they're in possession of. And that can be turned to the advantage of the defence within the context of the criminal investigation. And although someone may be made the subject of, for example, a risk order, they will be in possession of material that can be used to make representations against a charge in relation to any potential criminal proceedings. And if the end game is avoiding a criminal conviction, this is a way in which the risk order process can be used to the advantage of the defence.